students welcome to this 26th lecture on calculus of variations in this video we will look at the examples of the theory which we have done in the last three videos 23 24 and 25 okay so we will look at the examples of what we have done in those videos okay this is the first question we are going to solve this question is that you have to find the extremal of this given functional such that at the left end this is the uh, boundary condition so left end is fixed the right hand side can vary along the line x is equal to pi by 4 so basically you have the left hand side fixed left uh, you have your admissible curves are of this form left hand point is 0 0 0 and right hand point is such that x can take x is equal to pi by 4 and y can take any value okay so these are your admissible curves okay so you know first of all any you have to solve the Euler's equation so f is equal to y square minus y dash square so your Euler's equation is f y minus dy by dx of f y dash is equal to 0 so that will give you 2 y minus dy by dx of minus 2 y dash is equal to 0 that will give you y plus y double dash is equal to 0 that will give you d square plus 1 is equal to 1 and d is equal to plus minus eta so your solution will be y is equal to a cos x plus b sin x now your uh, job is to find out these a and b and for that you need conditions one condition is that y of 0 is equal to 0 so you will get a times 1 plus b times 0 is equal to 0 that will give you a is equal to 0 so you you are left with y is equal to b sin x right and at the right hand side you, you your point is not fixed but you are given that your x is equal to pi by 4 okay so you know that when x is equal to pi by 4 at the right hand side your curve is x is equal to pi by 4 then uh, you your condition is transversality condition will reduce to that f y dash at x is equal to pi by 4 should be 0 right do you remember then when you have this x is equal to a and x is equal to b if the left left hand point is moving along x is equal to a and the right hand side is moving at along x is equal to b lines then your conditions were x y dash at x is equal to a is equal to 0 and f y dash at x is equal to b is equal to 0 but uh, here we don't have this so we have only f y dash at x is equal to b is equal to 0 so we have minus 2 y dash at x is equal to pi by 4 is equal to 0 and what is your y dash y dash will be b cos x so you have minus 2 b cos x at x is equal to pi by 4 is equal to 0 when you put x is equal to pi by 4 it will be 1 by square root of 2 so you get b is equal to 0 so your solution is a 0 b 0 so you y is equal to 0 this is a required extremal of this functional subject to these boundary conditions okay i think that that thing is clear Now this is just a simple example we we want to show that we have seen that in case of functional of this form fxy times 1 plus y dash square dx the transversality conditions reduces to the orthogonality conditions now here we want to prove something similar we want to prove that in case of functionals of this form the transversality conditions okay the functional is of this form and the conditions are that this left hand point will move along the curve y is equal to phi x and the right hand point will move along the curve y is equal to psi x right so we want to prove that in when the functional is of this particular form then the transversality conditions will will turn into the requirement that the extremal should intersect phi x and psi x at an angle of 45 degree so you get it we have something like this this is your curve phi x this is your curve psi x okay and you have these extremals moving okay you have these extremals moving okay such that left hand point is on this curve phi x and right hand point is on the curve psi x so transversality conditions will be these okay these are the transversality conditions which we have derived okay in the last video so and in this particular this is your f okay this is your f so you compute f y dash when you compute f y dash you can just see and after some manipulation you will see that your f y dash is this thing okay f y dash is this so put it in the transversality conditions when you put it in the transversality conditions this is what you will get at the x naught i am putting only in one condition so your f will be common and you will get 1 plus phi dash minus y dash times y dash plus minus 1 upon 1 plus y dash square is equal to 0 okay that will give you this this whole thing is equal to 0 and you take this LCM and you will get 1 plus y dash square plus 
phi dash minus y dash times y dash plus minus 1 is equal to 0 and from here you will do some manipulation you do some manipulation and you will get this right and what is this this means that modulus of this thing is 1 and what is this this is the angle tan of the angle between phi and psi so this you get tan of theta where theta is the angle between phi and psi is equal to 1 it implies theta is equal to phi by 4 similarly on right hand side you will get the same thing right so it means that when your functional is of that form then the uh, transversality conditions require that your extremal y star should be such that it makes an angle 45 degree le on left hand side and 45 degrees on right hand side okay this is the next problem you have to find the extremal for this functional right now this is of the form j y1 y2 where y1 is called y and y2 is called z right left hand point is fixed and right hand point can vary along the plane x is equal to x1 right so again you know here you have to first thing is you have to solve these Euler's equation so your fy minus dy by dx of fy dash is equal to 0 that will give you 2z okay this is your f partial derivative of this f with respect to y is 2z minus dy by dx of 2y dash is equal to 0 that will give you z minus y double dash is equal to 0 and the other one is fz minus dy by dx of fz dash is equal to 0 that will give you 2y minus dy by dx of 2z dash is equal to 0 that will give you y minus z double dash is equal to 0 so from here just put the value of z or y from here you get z is equal to y double dash so you put it here you'll get y minus y raised power 4 uh, no, sorry fourth derivative of y is equal to 0 so you have d raised to power 4 minus 1 is equal to 0 so you get d is equal to plus minus 1 this is the solution of Euler's equation uh, Euler equation so these this is you will get y is equal to a e raised to power x this is I, I hope you you know how to solve these differential equations right so you have to write the auxiliary equation for this and then you have to find the roots of auxiliary equation okay and depending on the roots there are different forms of the solution and when you have plus minus 1 as a root of your auxiliary equation your solutions will be a e raised to power x plus b e raised to power minus x and when you have plus minus iota as the roots of your auxiliary equation then the solution will be c cos x plus d sin x and you already know z is equal to y double dash so just find the double derivative of y you will get this is equal to z now your job is to find a b c d okay and for that you will use the condition that left hand side is fixed and right hand side is moving along this curve this is surface x is equal to x1 is the surface basically this is a plane in 3d right so let us see how we can compute the constants so this is your a y this is your z y of 0 is equal to 0 implies a plus b plus c is equal to 0 right and z of 0 is equal to 0 implies a plus b minus c is equal to 0 you subtract these two conditions you will get c is equal to 0 you add these conditions you will get a plus b is equal to 0 that b is equal to minus a so your solution will be a b is equal to minus a so a common e raised power x minus e raised power minus x plus c is 0 hai. c is 0 so d is d is as such okay now a and d are left you have to find a and d right now you know that this these are the transversality conditions okay so here what is your psi psi was like x is equal to psi of x y y z here x is equal to x1 so your psi is basically psi of y z is equal to x1 so curly psi by curly y is 0 because there is no y explicitly in fact this is a constant and curly psi by curly z is 0 so your transversality conditions this is 0 this is 0 will reduce to f y dash at x is equal to x1 is equal to 0 and f z dash at x is equal to x1 is equal to 0 so you get 2 y dash at x is equal to x1 is equal to 0 and 2 z dash at x is equal to x1 is 0 so you have y dash at x1 0 and z dash at x1 0 right you have to the, use these conditions to obtain a and d so you just put it there uh, your y dash at x1 is 0 will give you this and z dash at x1 is 0 give you this you add these two terms you will get 2a e raised to power x1 plus e raised to power minus x1 0 that will give you a is equal to 0 now this a is equal to 0 will imply d into cos of x1 is equal to 0 so you will get d is equal to 0 or cos of x1 is equal to 0 so in this case the solution will be y is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0 and when cos of x1 is 0 then x1 is equal to n pi and in this case this will be the extremal where d can take any value so basically you have here two cases one is x1 is equal to n pi 
okay n1 is x1 is not equal to n5 in this case the extremal is y is equal to 0 z is equal to 0 and in this case the extremal is y is equal to d cos x y z is equal to minus d cos x where d can take any value any real value is that clear let us look at one more example okay. here you need to find the extremal of this curve uh, this functional subject to this left hand side is fixed and right hand side is moving along this line y is equal to x minus y. okay okay so first of all you, this is your f you have to find the solution of Euler's equation and this is independent of x there is no x here therefore I can write the this form of Euler's equation okay you can write the other form also but it will be easy so you just solve this you can just do we have solved it many times so you can just get this as a solution x minus c1 square plus y square is equal to c c square where you have to find your c1 and c okay for that you have to use this condition that left hand side is zero uh, fixed and right hand side is moving along this line right now let us use these conditions Now your this is this is your extremal y of zero is equal to zero implies zero minus c one square plus zero square is equal to c square so c one square is equal to c square so you get x minus c one square plus y square is equal to c one square so you get c one square c one square will cancel on both sides you'll get y square is equal to two c one x minus x square so you get y is equal to plus minus square root of two c one x minus x square okay now we need to compute c one okay for computing c one we will use the transversality condition okay from here what is your y dash y dash is this right and transversality condition is what your functional is of this form right what was your functional your functional was you have to find the this thing extremal of this 1 plus y dash square upon y so your functional is of the form fxy times 1 plus y dash square dx okay and we have seen that in this case the transversality conditions reduce to orthogonality condition so what we need is we need that y dash psi dash at x is equal to right hand side that is at is x is equal to x1 okay should be minus 1 okay so we have computed our y dash right and what is psi dash uh, this phi dash phi is this phi is your x minus 5 phi of x is x minus 5 so phi dash will be 1 right so you need y dash phi dash is equal to minus 1 so you need this this is your y dash and phi dash is 1 is equal to minus 1 and from here you get c1 square c1 minus x1 square I'm just squaring both sides is equal to 2c1 x1 minus x1 square right okay this is the condition we got now now this point x1 y1 this point x and x1 y1 this lies on this line y is equal to x minus 5 so we have this condition and also this point lies on the extremal this is your extremal right so therefore we have this also because this is the equation of the extremal here right so and this is the condition we have right this is the condition we have so what I am doing is from here I am replacing this thing with I am using this thing and replacing this thing with y1 square and then I am using this thing I am replacing it with x1 minus 5 square so I get x1 minus c1 square is equal to x1 minus 5 square so you get c1 is equal to 5 therefore your solution is y is equal to plus minus square root of 10 minus x square okay. this is how we, we solve the problems okay so I think these things are clear thank you